Hello and welcome to more Banjo Tooie. We are back at the entrance to Glitter Gulch Mine, and we're gonna go tackle a whole nother chunk of this place. Last time we used those turbo trainers. Actually, you know what? Well, it's probably wasting time now that I'm going back for it, but I probably should have grabbed those to begin with. Well, good start, Psycho. Good start to an episode. But yeah, last time we used these to run down the river and all that stuff. This time we're just gonna run right up here because up this little hill there's going to be a jam jar. So we can get a new uh, move right here. Let's go ahead and cancel out of that. I think I'm fully stocked on eggs. Actually, no, I could. Oops. Well, I guess I needed one more of those. I wanted to stock up on the blue ones though. But we need 85 notes. Let's go ahead and check it out. And I know last time, guys, I was kind of going through the dialogue a little bit quickly. The problem with this game is if you don't press A, the dialogue goes really slow. If you do press A, it goes really fast. So it's kind of hard to find a sweet spot. But I'm definitely going to try to slow things down a little bit so you guys can actually read it without having to pause or go in slow motion or anything. But yeah, it's there. We just got the drill beak, I think it was called. We can use that to break some boulders. There just so happens to be a boulder over on this side. So let's go and grab these notes. And go try it out right here. So all we do is hold down the right trigger after a jump or left trigger. And boom, we get ourselves an empty honeycomb piece. Nice. Let's go grab these notes as well. Actually, I want to get to the top of this hill because there's a little house I want to go check out. Let's grab that. And let's see. Yep, right up here. It looks like there's one more note to grab, but I'll try to get that on the way out here. Let's just go inside. This is the Prospector's Hut. Let's go talk to the Prospector. Howdy! How you doing, buddy? He looks kind of sad. What's wrong? Hmm. Yeah, his name's probably gold-related. Gold Bar Bill, Klondike Bill. Bullion Bill's my name, yep. So, Kazooie says thought so. I, I don't know what a bullion is, but I'm guessing it's something gold-related. So he's talking about his rodent friend, Delberta. Now, back in, I think, episode four, we saw Delberta in Mayhem Temple. So that is what we have to do. You might have remembered the uh, rat. You can see the picture in the background there. Um, there was a boulder blocking the way. So now if we go back to Mayhem Temple, we can actually go and break that boulder finally. So I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to do that after we finish Glitter Gold's Mine, but we will go do that at some point. We'll go get all those extra goodies. So let's go grab those notes. And I just heard a Jinjo whistling for me, so let's go and grab him as well. He's just right up these tracks here. There you are, buddy. We've got a blue Jinjo. All right. Now I'm going to finally go down and go activate Mumbo over here. Let's see, I think there's going to be some more notes. Uh, there's a TNT guy in the middle, but I'm just going to completely avoid him. Uh, if you get too close to them, they'll start shooting TNT sticks at you, or dynamite, whatever it is. And, well, that crown will hurt you, but as long as we avoid it, we'll be fine. Alright, let's go inside. I don't think I've missed anything here. We have to go upstairs. We've already got the Globo from last time. Uh, there actually is two Globos in this stage, just like there was in the last stage, but we only need one for now. So let's go and give it to him. And he is once again craving those Globos. I don't know why he's so obsessed with them, but they just love their magic creatures. Maybe they have magical properties that makes them... Uh, maybe it's like a, an arms race or a power race between Mumbo and uh, Wumbo. Maybe they're trying to outdo each other, so they need as many Globos as possible. Maybe they eat them. I don't know. Whatever the case, they, they do stuff. So we got Mumbo here. Let's go and uh, exit this place. So last time we grabbed a warp to the train station, we kind of went out of our way to get that, and this is why. It'll make us get here a lot faster, because Mumbo's kind of slow, so it's convenient to just be able to warp right over here, let's go inside the train station. So inside this area, there's going to be a little Mumbo pad we have to use, although I do want to go and break this real quick. Get us that empty honeycomb piece. Oh, uh, I'm getting attacked by a gosh dang shovel with eyes. Fantastic. But let's go use the Mumbo switch here. Hope this works. Yeah, me too. Uh, we're not going to quite summon the train this time. Uh, we're just going to levitate it. So in this stage, our mumbo power is levitate, not summon. But that's all right. And I really hope you guys like this little mumbo song because we're going to be hearing a lot of it. Definitely. Oh, set that guy down. Oh, Chuffy. Those train carts are like not even connected. I guess those are magnets, maybe? I don't know. But we can't exactly go inside there as Mumbo. He kind of just gets stuck in the ladder, which looks kind of kind of weird. So let's just go back and uh, take the warp pad to another area. That is seriously all we needed Mumbo for was to activate that train. But oh, well. let's go use this warp pad, and we're gonna go to the crushing shed now because that place also had a uh, Mumbo switch, and I just went to the wrong one. Gosh dang it! Not to Mumbo Skull. We're gonna go to the crushing shed. So last time we went inside the shed and we actually hit a switch. This time we're going to go activate this mumbo switch. 
And you know how I said that this game tends to have very overly long, drawn-out cinematics? Well, that is going to be the case here. This is going to be a very long shot of a boulder. I hope you guys enjoy this song like I said, and I hope you guys like watching Green Boulders Float. Yep. <laughs> we're, we're just going to chill for a bit. All right, get on with it, Mumbo. I don't know if that's going to fit in that hole. Uh, you can try. Oh my gosh. Don't worry, guys. It's, it's probably almost halfway over at this point, maybe. The thing that I don't understand, though, is once he sets it down, it's no longer green. He's no longer using his magic to levitate it, so why is he still doing his chant? I feel like he could... I don't know. I feel like he could just stop doing it at this point, but he keeps at it. And here we are, watching... Watching a boulder move along a conveyor belt. Very, very slow conveyor belt. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, well, we just have to wait for it to go get crumbled up. Because that's what the crushing shed does. We have the crushers, but it also has the grinder. I'm not sure why we had to turn off the crushers to turn the grinder on, but there you go. So we go through all of that, that ridiculously long sequence, just to get these little gold pieces. And once we pick one up, you'll hear a little bit of the Jiggy song, because, well, this is the Jiggy. It's just broken up into a bunch of pieces. So as we get each piece, it'll play more of the song until we get the last piece. Come on. And that'll give us the Jiggy, all right. It's gonna put us up to 13. So we are actually done with Mumbo for this stage. That is it. So let's go back and actually go turn back to Banjo and Kazooie. Just go inside. Let's go upstairs. Hey, Banjo, you can have control of yourself back. Oh, thanks, buddy. Okay, let's go outside. And uh, there's one little area to the right that we didn't go to quite yet. So we can break that boulder. I also want to grab this globo. We'll have to give that to uh, Wumba a bit later. Let's go ahead and break this boulder right open and go inside. Now, this right here is a TNT that we cannot actually explode quite yet. We need something from Wumba to do that. So we can't free the Jinjo now. We'll come back. But, uh, yeah. We'll just have to deal with that later. However, we can break this. So let's just go ahead and break more boulders. I'm not sure why there's so many boulders everywhere, but there they are. Now, right here, what you're meant to do for this part is go up here and use these split-up pads. We, however, do not have the split-up ability, and it's not required. It's just... it's... it's helpful. I can show you guys exactly what you're meant to do. So you're meant to just split up and have one of your guys go up this little ladder right here. And what they would do is they stand on this switch. And standing on that will turn on the lights in this area, so you can actually see where you're going. So... you can get the jiggy right there. So that's what the split-up pad is for. However, there's a bit of a trick that can let us do that without having to see it. It's a little bit more difficult, but really it's it's worth it. Because you don't get the split-up power from this stage, you get it from another stage. So we'd have to go to that, then come all the way back here just to do that. So instead, I'm going to use fire eggs. Because fire eggs create light, we can just shoot them and walk along the path. Now if you turn up the brightness on your screen, you can probably see the pathways anyway. But my screen does not get that bright, so I can only kind of see them. So I'm going to just use the fire to light the way as we go. You can also do the poopy one instead of the shooty one. And if you do that, sometimes you can pick them back up, which is pretty nice. However, it doesn't really go as far. It doesn't give you quite as much light, so I prefer to do this one. And I think we're just about there. And come on. Oh, this path is pretty obvious. You can also use the jiggy itself to create some light on the way back out, which is kind of cool. It doesn't last for very long, but it can get you a little bit back. Now, I'm just going to edit back to the start because it's going to take a little while. All right, there we are. So we're done with that area. Once again, you could come back later if, if it's too difficult for you to do that. Uh, just go get your split-up pad power and come back, but I don't think any of you guys will really have too much of a challenge with that one. It's not too bad. So I guess we can restock on some fire eggs right here since we just used a whole bunch of them. And we actually will need them for a little bit coming up as well, so let's get all stocked up. Let's go ahead and break this boulder. Now this is going to take us down a little tunnel, and I actually want to go to the right first. There's two paths right here, right and left. So I'm going to go right into the red area, because we can. So in this area, another pretty dark area, I guess we can go and grab some more fire eggs. Now this one you're meant to use the eggs to light up these torches right here. Or these uh, generators, so those will create the light for us so we can walk along the path. So pretty simple. This one is actually intended to do this way, it's not supposed to have the split up pad or anything like that. But pretty simple, we just walk along, keep shooting. They will turn off after a while, and some of these paths are pretty straightforward, but some are pretty difficult like this right here they'll actually start breaking up so you want to make sure you hit all these now some of them we do have to go first person just to get a better shot at them did i get it uh yep i got it cool so 
Just gotta take things slow and steady. Make sure you jump over all these little gaps here. I think this is the last one we have to hit. Uh, got it! Sick! Jump all the way up here. Now that last one, I don't even know why that's there. You really don't have to hit that one at all. Maybe it's just if you go too slow and your uh, the last one runs out. I'm not gonna get that. Let's go ahead, grab the jiggy! Now right here is a ladder that will take us right back to the start. But there's something I want to show you guys. You can actually jump directly to this ladder. If you do a backflip into a ground pound, you can just get... Oh, kind of messed up there. Well, that's how things work on video. There you go, you can jump directly onto the ladder and just go up top, so you really don't actually have to go through that section. I figured just for the purpose of the playthrough, I'll just do it legit, but... Yeah, there you go, there's a nice little shortcut. But let's go back out this uh, area here. And this will actually drop us right outside the train station, which we were just at. So, that's pretty nifty. Now, one thing I want to do is actually climb up this little blue mountain here, because now that we can break boulders, we can actually free a Jinjo. Let's do it. Let's go break him out! Come on, Jinjo! Get out of that crud! And got him! Boom! One out of five for the green. We've got a pretty wide split of different colored Jinjos. If you get the white or the orange one, I think they take like one Jinjo for the whole family, and two, so you can really get some pretty fast. So we've already got the uh, honeycomb piece, right? Yep, we got that taken care of, so let's just go inside the train. Because Banjo and Kazooie, unlike Mumbo, can actually climb. Okay. So we step on the switch. Chuffy's cab. This is my train control pad. Gosh dang. Well, let's just go inside the little room here. Hmm. Uh, this train did not look this big from outside. <laughs> that always happens in some games in, uh, and, uh... Even TV shows, they like go inside a place and suddenly it's huge. But yes, we have another boss fight right here. This one's going to be against Chuffrey himself. And this is another case where those grenade eggs we got going to come in very handy. I'm very glad we decided to get those. Uh, he's going to fight me. Okay. It's not exactly a very frightening boss. You guys will see just how easy he can be. I don't know why we're standing on like this lava or these hot coals without getting hurt, but... Really just go up on top of this metal piece here, switch to the grenade eggs, and we'll start shooting. Now, if you get too close to the explosions, it will hurt you. But you can see each shot's going to do three points of damage to him. And as we continue to damage him, parts of him is going to start falling off. Now, if you use the regular eggs, it'll do one damage each. I don't think the fire eggs hurt him at all, actually. So usually grenade eggs are the best. You can see his HP is just getting chunked down like crazy. He's already lost two arms. Oh, man. Yeah, and if he pauses to, to do whatever the heck he's doing, just start wailing away on him. If he's moving along, you might have to lead your shots, but really, just such an easy boss fight. I really don't think this one's too challenging. Look at that, he just keeps pausing. I'm gonna keep shooting you, bro. Bo? <laughs> I'm gonna keep shooting you, bro. Alright. Well, after we've completely annihilated him, wrecked his, both of his arms, knocked off his upper body, and then exploded his legs, now he will finally let us use his train. And thankfully, we also get a Jiggy. I guess we just kind of... I guess we could have kind of murdered him. It's probably not a good thing. Sometimes these family games have very violent elements in them. Well, let's get out of here. Now that we actually own this train, let's go use the GoPad! Although, unfortunately, there's no other train stations for us to go to right now. Of course not. We do all this work to get the train, and it's for nothing right now. But if we go inside this little back cabin right here, we can actually figure out what exactly this train is for. And uh, if we go talk to the sign. So find the train tunnel door switches in other worlds to enable Chuffy to travel between stations. So basically we find the train stations in other worlds and then we can use this as kind of a quick travel between them, which I think is pretty cool. So anyways, let's get out of this train station. I think we are done here. And I guess what we're going to do is go back to the level entrance and guys... We are once again back at the start, and we're going to call this one a day. We'll come back next time, finish off Glitter Gulch Mine, and finally put this one to rest. I'll see you guys then. Take care.